If you've been on the fence about subscribing to Pretzel Rocks, the music service for your live streams, you might want to do so this month. This is not sponsored by them. In fact, we have another sponsor for this video, but they are making some major changes and effective January or August 1st, rather, uh, their prices will change as well. So if you buy the premium package before August 1st, you get the legacy pricing. And so we're going to talk about all these updates and why you may want to go ahead and subscribe to Pretzel this month in today's video. You ever look at the Elgato Stream Deck and think, man, I wish I could have all of that power in the palm of my hands. Well, now you can. Install the app on iOS or Android, connect your Stream Deck software on PC, and start setting up your program launchers, CPU monitors, button to control your key lights, and stream scene switching, all within minutes. It doesn't get much easier than this. Try it free with the link in the video description. Getting safe music for your stream is pretty difficult, but there's some services that have been aiming to make it easier. Obviously, for a free option, you have the Stream Beats playlist from a fellow streamer, uh, Harris Heller, which you can check out. I'll have it linked in the video description. But there's also the service Pretzel Rocks. I mentioned it in a free streaming tools video a while back, but wasn't super hard on my recommendation of it until I had time to vet it more. And the more I find out about it and the more I see what changes they're making coming soon, I feel confident recommending it to you as a service for music for your streams and VODs and things like that. And you may want to go ahead and subscribe this month to them if you want to get their cheaper pricing. They're making some major updates and it's really cool stuff, but you may want to act before August 1st. And we're going to talk about that in today's video. I'm Evil's Vox, your stream professor. And if you're unfamiliar with Pretzel Rocks, it is a music streaming service that allows you to stream music safe for Twitch for Mixer, well, RIP, for YouTube and things like that. They even have a separate YouTube safe playlist because not all the music gets filtered properly for YouTube and things like that. It's a pretty cool service that a lot of people have recommended to me. And like I said, I actually talked about it in the past, but I wasn't 100% certain how likely you are to stay safe with this music. I feel a lot more confident now, and they're making some major changes this season that I am very stoked for. But that also means their pricing is changing, and I want you to be able to act quick enough to be able to utilize the cheaper pricing before time runs out. So the first of major changes that Pretzel is making to their company is they're actually separate, separating out the 99 Lives record label that they have as a separate company from the Pretzel Rocks company, which is now called Pretzel Ox. The service is still called Pretzel Rocks, but the parent company is called Pretzel Ox. That way they can take on investors and do things separately, which is cool, better for them. You can say what you will about them getting investing and things like that, but overall, you know, that means that they're growing and hopefully going to be more successful and have more they can do for us. Secondly, of course, they're shutting down Mixer logins. So if you were using login for Mixer, Mixer shutting down July 30, effective July 22nd, and Pretzel will be shutting down their Mixer login as well. You want to go ahead and sign in with your Twitch and Discord accounts in order to keep your account, you know, put together here. So go ahead and do that, if you will, because, oh, Mixer. But then they're also making some changes to how their licensing works and building an entirely new tool for that song licensing and they actually I, ha I recommend you read this news post over on medium about what they're doing because they actually explain how the licensing breakdown works for music because you have to get 200 percent licensing you have to get licensing for the composition itself whoever wrote the music the songs the lyrics all of that you also have to get uh, licensing for the actual existing master of that song the actual performance and recording file of it you have to get licensing for both so if you want to do that you have like 500 places you have to contact and all get licenses from that place. You can't just get one person's approval to use a song. It is that complicated. And most of the time you can't figure out who you're supposed to contact. The advantage of using a service like Pretzel Rocks is they handle and negotiate all of that for you. Now, they have over 10,000 tracks in their service and they have to deal with all of the licensing for that. So now they have a new clearance portal called Fox which is this big music library database where every where publishers can go in and identify which licenses they have, how they're affiliated to the music and fully, you know, confirm all the different licensing for music to be added to the catalog. Because there's some situations such as fixed music, which is often partnered with position music. I actually used to use their library when I was in a different network. Uh, and fixed music can add their catalog to Fox, but some of these, not like Fox F-O-X, but Fox, like Guy Fox. <laughs> But some of their music, some of the rights are still held by position music, and so they can't give all of those songs. So there has to be a signed licensing agreement with position music as well as fixed music, which gets really messy. So they have this whole new system designed for collaborating with publishers and artists and things like that to get licensing agreements fully worked out and negotiated, all with the primary goal of not only protecting, of course, 
Pretzel Rocks, but protecting you as the streamer for using this music. Because if there's even any slight mix up in the licensing clearances or the whitelisting or whatever with this music, that means you could get a muted VOD or a DMCA claim at worst from all of this. And that's not good. So they have this whole new tool which makes their lives easier and makes more, you know, things better for you because they get more tracks. Apparently this new service is sitting on 50,000 tracks, whereas Pretzel itself only has 10,000 at the moment. And they're just, you know, getting more publishers and rights holders onboarded to really negotiate all of this. And apparently effective August 1st, there will be hundreds of thousands of new tracks in Pretzel Rocks to filter through and add to playlists and stream, which is bonkers. Hundreds of thousands of tracks compared to the 10,000 that they've had so far. They'll have new stations for metal, lo-fi, punk, chill piano, classical, country, jazz, and so on. And they're adding volume normalization to every track in the system so that you don't have any issues where you're shuffling music and some songs are louder than the others and your stream balance is all thrown off. It's finally time they added that. They're also adding a new view for their app called Library Mode. And this already existed for the Streamlabs OBS app version of Pretzel Rocks, uh, but this is a whole new version of the desktop app called Library Mode and essentially it's a Spotify UI ripoff. It looks exactly like Spotify, but it does make it easier to navigate the music and manage it all and play it back. And it's a familiar UI. So there's nothing wrong with that, I guess. And it keeps the UI unified across desktop, web and Streamlabs OBS. Uh, it does apparently mean that compact mode will be going away for a little bit. So that is disappointing, but they should hopefully be bringing it back. They do now have public playlists uh, coming into the future and not necessarily the August 1st update. Uh, which will allow you to share play playlists and have communities and viewers add songs and manage songs and things like that. So that's pretty cool as well. As part of them renegotiating all of their licenses and getting more music onboarded, they had to make some changes to the free tier because there's different ways that you can stream music when it comes to licensing. There's interactive streaming where you get to choose exactly which songs you want, which ones are played next, you can go back forward on all of that. And then there's non-interactive streaming, which means it's basically an online radio service and you don't really get to choose or control anything. This is essentially Spotify Premium versus Spotify Free. Spotify Free has the ads and you can only skip a certain number of songs and then you just have to let it play as radio. And that's kind of what's happening to Pretzel here. So the free tier will be changed from interactive streaming to non-interactive streaming. So search, playlists, seeking, or selecting a song will no longer be available for free users. You'll still be able to select the station, you'll still be able to thumbs up and down songs, and you'll be able to skip songs. But any playlists you create before August 1st will still exist as well but you won't be able to play them on the free tier. Pretzel Premium will remain fully interactive just like it was. Along with all of this, there is new pricing coming to Pretzel. So previously, everything was uh, $5 per month, $14.99 if you paid quarterly, or $59.99 if you paid yearly. As of August 1st, the pricing will be $14.99 per month or $149 for the year, which is a doubling in price for the year and a tripling in price for the month. This is due to all of the new agreements, the player changes, and the literal 10x of the music available, but that is a pretty hefty jump. This is why I think you should go on and subscribe now because I was able to just do it. Unfortunately, you can only load up one year at a time, but you can go on and pay the $60 and get the next year for 60 bucks and not have to worry about the higher prices for another year. You have a full year at the legacy pricing and you're able to do that as long as you subscribe within the next at this point, like 10 days. So you have until August 1st for this to happen. Streamlabs Prime users who use the Streamlabs OBS app, uh, previously they had a little bit of a bonus going with that or whatever, but they will be converted to free users and you have to go then subscribe on their website instead of through Streamlabs OBS, which is frankly how it should have been. Um, if you are one of the few people who have that subscription through Streamlabs, you will be grandfathered in your plan as long as your subscription remains active. So again, if you have it, if you let it expire and then renew it, you'll be moved over to that new plan. They're also introducing a 30 day free trial for premium for users who want to try it out before committing to paying, especially the increased pricings. There's a lot of changes coming to one service, uh, but I think it's really, really good. Like this is the first big dedi- This is essentially Spotify sh for streamers. Like not only the UI, but the functionality, the way that they're building this service, it is now really Spotify for streamers. And I think it's really freaking great. I hope they get more integrations with other streaming platforms such as Trovo that's just coming up and things like that. And I hope that they get a little bit more integration for social media sites and the like, but they're doing a lot of good here. It comes with a very big price increase and that's disappointing, but I have to say it's probably worth it. So if you're 
on the fence about paying these higher prices or getting limited features with the free tier, jump on it before August 1st. Otherwise, great new changes coming to the service and I hope you'll check it out. Again, this wasn't sponsored by them or anything. I just wanted to talk about it because I get a lot of requests to cover music for streamers. Otherwise, like I said, for free stuff, go check out Harris Heller's Stream Beats. I'll have a link in the description below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more stream education and tech guides. I'm your stream professor, Eples Fox. Check out links in the description below to Floatplane, where you get early access to videos, behind the scenes content, Discord, where you can get help with all of your streams over at eplesvox.gg slash Discord. And follow me on Twitter, at Eplesvox, and Instagram, at Eplesvox. I'll see you next time.